What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, we're going to Sol 1274. Now, when you see this photo at first, you think two things. One, was the exposure brought down quite a bit for a reason, or was it simply at dusk? Let's have a look. And you can see up here it's NASA, and you can see it right here at NASA Science, Mars Exploration Program, Mars Curiosity Rover. Now, when you go down here, you can always go to the right here, and you can see the filters. And what you want to do is put in the sol from and to because you want to concentrate strictly on that particular sol, right? Now, I'm on page two of these, and there's 308 images. You can see that right here, right? Um, we're going to go all the way down to this one right here. And once you click on it, you can see it right there. Click on it again. And right here in the lower right-hand corner right there at the bottom, you can expand it to the full page. Now, you can see this photo here. Mm, that's a good possibility. It's just natural. It's just, you know, at dusk. I don't believe that it is. It may be at dusk, but I also believe that it was probably further brought down, or at least exposure has been. And of course, you know, I see these from these tips of these mountains right to around here is completely faked out. I think a lot of this here it has been uh, manipulated. You know, they're hiding whatever they want to hide there. But this here is a bunch of crap. All of this is in the background is just garbage. But what we're concentrating on is the main photo. And guys, just some of the smaller things, sometimes just very minute, sticking out of the ground and is being covered up but we can bring it out now a couple of things i want to show you that we'll be looking at is at the top here this object right here and i'm gonna put it right here in the middle of the screen right here okay some other objects that are hidden over in here and, of course, we zoomed in, so it's kind of grainy, but you'll see it a lot better in a little bit. Got something right here that's white and then white, but you have what looks like uh, a manipulation, so you can they covered probably half to almost three-quarters of it. Um, I had somebody ask me, what's the significance of what is with you with things with that are white? Because a lot of these things could be steel, so they come off as a white color, uh, and, or it's just painted white, one of the two, right? Obviously, it's going to differ from rocks unless you've got kind of all kinds of white rocks. Well, then it's not going to differ too much from the background, right? Okay, so let's jump into this a little bit better. Go ahead and reset that. I'm going to jump out of that real quick. Go to Photoshop. Now, this is the size of the photo. Blew it up for you it's right there so we can really zoom into this thing. All right, first thing they're going to point out, like I said... Uh, some things that don't look really natural. And, of course, you guys get the last say in this, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do that, put it in RGB so we can point these things out. We're going to be looking at objects over here. We have objects over here. And, like I said, over here. And you can almost see that now. I mean, if you really look, like this object right here, Goes like this, it has this round circle, but it's actually thicker than that. Goes like this here, but you see that a little bit better. Going down like this, this piece right here, and as I pointed out earlier, you get this piece right here. You see that whatever this thing is lighter in color, but from here to here, they've completely taken out. They pretty much put it darker. So basically, it hides three quarters of this said object, right? We've got this area down here. And at first you might say, ah, I don't see any significance. You will, because just look for the lines in here and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Here's a little hint. Check this area out. Okay. And look at all the other lines in here and we'll get to that too. Now we brought up the exposure a little bit. Let's have a better look. And you'll see this much better as I go into this, but this area right here, I find this interesting because this right here, I'm going to put this at the center of the screen here. And you're going to see an object that does like this, goes up, goes over, and back down. This one, the same way. It goes like this and comes back down. What is the chances of nature doing that kind of thing? Got this, whatever this is right here. Two pieces coming out of this. See that? But take a close look at a lot of these things, guys. Like down here, like smaller little pieces. 
pause this anywhere you want and have a better look. We got what looks like, almost looks like something connecting here. See this right here? Almost like a pipe or something like that. You can see it goes like this here. Almost like this round piece or whatever that is. And then we've got this other one, other piece that continues on. Is it just part of an edge of something? Is it some kind of weird pipe? I don't know. We have other pieces on the top of this so-called hill. Again, doing this. I didn't connect that very well, but anyway, you get the idea. Up and over. Got another one that does the same thing. Okay. All right. This I found interesting right here. I'm going to put this back to the raw photo because I want you guys to see this first. Right here. The best way I can describe this thing is it looks like some kind of weird conveyor belt or some kind of mechanical piece. It goes like this here. Goes down like this and kind of fades off. You can almost see like a little dot right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right there. All right. Does that. The other piece comes out over here, comes back down. This black piece seems to go like this and then of course it goes down but we don't know if it drops down how far it drops down no clue right um we've got something in the back here almost like we've seen on the ridge there almost like some kind of weird piping you see it literally comes out like this going like that see that right there okay these objects over here as I pointed out, look at the way this thing is like this. I'm just going to outline it a little bit. Of course, we can't see the other side like this one here. We can see it's kind of like a dark circle. And it appears to go up like this here. And it might be bent because it looks like it keeps going. We've got this what looks like this triangular part with a darker piece. Do you see that? Right here, there's a triangular piece. And the design is actually darker triangular inside you guys see that I said if that's mother nature doing that that's pretty brilliant yeah okay and again I said about this area here and this part here okay all right now I did start to enhance this a little bit more and we're going to go up to the top. I'm going to start to show you these things. Brought up the exposure, like I said. And again, we have these items here going across. I like that. And you can see these other items here. Okay. Here's that piece I was telling you about. And it appears to be off the ground. Here it is. After enhancing it, some of the little details come out of this, and I found it pretty interesting. We got, like I said, whatever this is right here, and it has that weird, almost conveyor look to it. That's the best way I can describe it. I'm not sure that's what it is. I'm sure that it's not a conveyor, but it sure has that kind of weird look to it. See that? Got this piece going down here, and look at the little design here. I found that pretty interesting that it is off the ground. Almost looks like it has a shadow under here of this actual item, this mechanical pieces sticking out of the ground. And it looks like it appears like it goes into this ground. Like, in other words, it's buried. And what I find interesting, guys, if you back out of this, let's go back to the raw photo. It almost looks like all of this had fallen down from up here at one point, maybe from the catastrophe or whatever happened, whether it be a flood, uh, Mars quake, or whatever the heck caused this... Uh, this catastrophic event, whether it's the explosions, the nuclear explosions uh, we've talked about and stuff like that. We don't know, right? Pure speculation. But either way you look at it, uh, this stuff is scattered all over the place. And of course, it's being manipulated out. Um, but there you go. There's that part again. You just see it right there. Now, what these objects are, I have no clue. 
I don't. Um, we can only purely speculate as to what these things could be, right? Okay. Now, let's go down to this area here I was talking about. Now, suddenly, look at the lines. Let me show you the original. But yet, these lines are there, guys. Absolutely there. And what I mean by the lines are absolutely there, if you look at right here, okay, look at all these other lines in here that have these curves. Going like this, 90 degree angles. What's the chance of Mother Nature doing that where you've got just entirely, look at the design of this thing. 90 degree angles as well as curves. Look at this. Boom. Nice 90 degree angle. Almost looks like it does this. Some kind of weird design in there. But what are the chances of that? doing what that does see that i don't know guys to me absolutely not at least some of this here is not natural i mean like i said it's one thing to see a 90 degree angle you know that's not totally impossible in nature but when you see this weird curvature piece right here with this nice 90 degree angle as well as a curve what's the chances of that happening Folks, I mean, what we're seeing here is absolutely awesome. I noticed this piece, too, right here. I'm wondering if this is two different items sitting right here. There's one here and one here. I'm wondering if this is actually one piece. I'm wondering if this is some kind of weird box or structural pot right here. And they made it look like a dune, or it's in a dune, one of the two, right? I wonder what that is. Is it just two separate rocks? Or is it something that was once one piece at one time? All right, let me show you the final enhancements. Again, guys, check that out. How does Mother Nature do that? Now, the reason why this looks the way it does here is because I, when I use the actual dodge tool to make this brighter, because it is, in fact, there. Going across and then back down. So what I did everything I could to use the dodge tool from this point over to really try to enhance it. So we did have that weird kind of broken up look to it. See that? But it is in fact there. Okay. Got this piece right here. Not sure what to make of this. This piece here, which, which I call a conveyor belt, but clearly that whatever that thing is, is mechanical. That's the way it looks to me. See that? Over to the right of that. We've got these objects right here. I'm not sure what to make of that. Or them. Guys, just sometimes the smallest little things. And I'll be honest with you guys. I think we're just touching just the tip of the iceberg on this stuff here. Absolutely. Again, from that to that there, enhance a little bit better. That's what it looks like. And you can, <clears throat> guys, you can see the lines there, especially this area right here. Again, we have this 90 degree angle and then curves. Got this piece right here. It does the same thing. It goes like this, curves, and goes back around. Looks to have this middle piece right here. It goes across. 90 degree angle practically, pretty darn close. And again, we have these pieces coming down. What are the chances of both of these shapes showing up in nature like that? Again, kind of crazy, but once it's all fully enhanced, you can see that. Look at the look at the ground right there. Is it some sort of design? Uh, was it part of something much larger now buried in the ground? Yeah, that to me, folks, is not natural at all. It's not. And folks, even up here at the top, just have a look with your mag glasses, magnifiers, jeweler's eyepieces, whatever you want to use. Just some of these things that are up here uh, kind of defy natural. Just these weird objects and shapes. Now, I'm not saying nature can't do any of this. Of course it can. But some of the things, when you get all of these things put together in one area, 
the the chances of that being all natural, I'm sorry, I don't believe that. There you go, guys. Anyway, guys, what are we seeing here? To me, mechanical. That thing that looks like that weird conveyor belt sticking right out of the ground like that, what looks like it has a light shadow under it. Um, and clearly, I think two things are happening here. It's definitely uh, towards dusk, meaning the sun's going down. But I think the exposure was brought down even further to hide most of these things after they manipulated them or obfuscated them out. And, of course, we have those other objects and those weird shapes on the ground there. Come on. Is that all natural? I don't believe so. That's just my opinion. And, of course, you guys can drop your comments and thoughts. Let me know what your opinion is and your thoughts are. Please like and share. Always appreciate it, guys. By the way, guys, got another uh, moon photo coming up. It's pretty cool, as well as more Mars. We got a photo as another Gigapan. And as always, guys, look for the links in my pinned post at the top of the comment section. It's always there. And, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Just hit the subscribe button as well as the bell on the side of it. Hit that so you'll be notified of all the newest videos coming out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one.